Jackson from the house and it's in Robbie's bedroom. Whole noise and everything. All it's gonna take is a little more wind and knock that tree off and get daddy cut. That trick you wire. Not the one. The woods right next door. Trees down everywhere. Look at our electricity out here. See the wire? All the way down. I don't even miss how. We'll get the truck out. Safely. Look at all these live wires. I don't know how many days we'll be. We'll have phone, electricity, or anything. That's the one that's in Robbie's room. Holes in the ceiling. We got four trash cans holding the water. I just can't imagine what Charleston got. I don't even know what our whims pop to. Don't know what Charleston got. Don't know what mess we got in the center. We don't have a phone. We can't call. All the work to pick all this crap up. Hey, Rebel. Hey, Rebel. Everywhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Robbie and I are going to attempt to go to the other lot to check out our other cars, try to get to the store. This is the street. Robbie and I just called under this electric line. Oh. Now we got about five miles to walk. There's a lake over here. Don't look too bad this way. So we'll take this road to the main road. Go to the lot. Here down the old river road. Almost to mom and dad's lot. Look at all the trees. And the wires everywhere. Where are you, Robbie? Running? And this is our lot. Well, Queen Jack. We don't have to worry about hang, hanging a hammock now. I'm trying to do this so that maybe we can get down the road to get the cars near where we are, just in case we need a car to drive.
walk off the roof now. Put that up and um so this is my room. There's one hole and there's another. It pretty much fell. I got it. Give you an unofficial comment. Okay. Forget it for right now. Okay. I mean, I'd like to. I, I hate to say that there's probably some sort of. Here it is across the street. For a few days, I think we've got some very important things going. As for you and Charles to tell me, what is the information? There's a phone number that the Earth Peak Preparedness Group has given us. Five five four. So call those numbers. We'll be more than happy to survive for the next week or so. Okay. I think to that end. The things that we want to uh, try to remember, one of the no problems, the first is that uh, if you have plastic bags or any other bags, we'll just have to put it outside for a little while and put it wherever Thank you can. Uh, uh, but if you were put it in, if you were to burn it, and everybody was to burn it, uh, there's no need to put a foul stench in there or anything. It's the uh, books that are out there. Uh, 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 it is just with the, just with the basics of what uh, what you go Hugo, thank you so much if you're willing to do that because uh, we need these uh, we need these basics right now. If you live in Mount Pleasant, get the power back on. on. The second priority is the water during when your power is going to come on in your home. Good, and I look so bad, and I'm fresh, and you're not. If you think I'm good, good, you've been looking at some some funny sights today, then, because I, I I feel like something out of that movie Night of the Living Dead. You can what the that there. is. If you own a gas station and you'd like to start operating again, but you have no electricity, it's impossible right now. But if you need a generator and you own a gas station, here's the number to call. I'll give you just a second to get a pencil and paper, and I'm going to tell you this number. If you run a gas station, uh, as long as four weeks. 
Now, uh, the transmission lines, uh, they're yeah, trying to get like those back. Pack. Don't worry. <laughs> Be happy. Look at me, I'm happy. <gasps> 